I thought it'd be cool to show people just kind of what my life has been like during the strike. So the other day I grabbed a camera so I could show you. Dude, it's trash, okay? The irony is, you know what happens when they lose writers? It turns into streaming. It turns into YouTube. Think about that. Here's what Conan O'Brien uh, did in 2007. Paid out of pocket for the strike affected employees. That's what you do. That's a big dick ass move, baby. God, Conan is such a goat, dude. He is chill. He is chill. Probably the only good guy out of the Harvard Lampoon. You know what I mean? Writer's Strike comeback was awesome. Here's what happened with the Writer's Strike first opening on uh, Conan O'Brien's show. That's an, old, that's an old trick of mine, pretending to recognize people in the crowd. <laughs> hey, you made it. <laughs> hey, all right. I love you, Conan. I love you too, sir. Uh, <laughs> always the men, never the ladies. Um, not funny, really. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome to our show tonight. It's been a long time. You, you look great. You look as I remember you. Uh, thank you for being here. Let's talk for a minute about the situation we find ourselves in. Uh, as you all know, two months ago, the Writers Guild of America went out on strike, and we took our show, Late Night Conan O'Brien, off the air in support of the writers. This has been a, a very tough time, not only for our show, but for a lot of people in the entertainment industry. Good people right now are out of work. And it's, yeah, and possibly worse with all the late night shows off the air. Americans have been forced to read books and occasionally even speak to one another. <laughs> which, has been, which has been horrifying. We are back now, but sadly, we do not have our writers with us. I want to make this clear. I support their cause. These are very talented, very creative people who work extremely hard. I believe what they're asking for is fair. I do. I believe that. And I think they all believe that here. I hope... I hope they get a... Uh, my, my, my biggest wish is that they get a great deal very quickly. They get back here because we desperately need them on the show. Think about it. Triumph the Insult Comic Dog, The Masturbating Bear, The Walker, Texas Ranger Lever. It's all writing. It's all writing. Well, actually, uh, no, not The Masturbating Bear. That's just instinct. Uh, believe me, I understand. Uh, so that brings us to the big $64,000 question of the evening. What do we do now? Everywhere I go in the city for the last uh, couple of days, everywhere I go, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do on the show? What are you gonna do? It's one guy who follows me. <laughs> I wish he'd go, what are you gonna do? You got a whole show to do. What are you gonna do? You got no writers. Well, it's true. We have no writers and we have an hour show, a one hour show to do every night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start by talking about my beard. <laughs> That's right. This looks, I know this looks fake. It looks like it ties on in the back. Believe it or not, I actually grew a beard. I grew a beard. I never did that in my life. My entire life, I've never grown a beard. I grew a beard. I grew it out of solidarity for my writers and to prove that I have some testosterone. <laughs> Two birds, one stone. The biggest comment I'm getting the last couple of days is that I look like the character of young Kris Kringle in Santa Claus is Coming. So who wrote this episode of Scab? No, he is a Writers Guild guy. He is uh, also a writer himself. He probably wrote the episode himself. The town, check it out. Like, I think the right thing to do usually is that, uh, he, I mean, he's just, he's not even writing. I don't, I think he's just like winging it at this point. And, uh, the point of it is like, yeah, without writers, you get nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. He wrote the best seasons of the Simpsons. Yeah, I know. He is a writer. Um, he's a, originally a writer. Conan is actually pretty funny. I mean, Conan is the goat. I like out of all the late night people, he is the one that I actually do like, uh, sure. Because the, because of the nature of late night comedy, it's always Cringe, it's always lip shit. Who cares? He, uh, in my opinion, was always uh, the best late night guy. I, 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 I watch your interviews and I love them all because I don't... Because I, I, I know you a little bit. A little bit enough to, to know that what, what's funny. Tell you me want what. me to... Say, no, no. Am I just listening? Yeah. 
Walk. You don't enjoy doing talk. No, this is this is really enjoy. No, whatever. It is what it is. Oh my god, my fucking head. He took all of the earnings, by the way, and he paid the writers out of pocket for this duration. Closely <laughs> at this beard, it's actually quite amazing. Let's do that now in a quick strike beard moment. <laughs> What the hell is that all about? The beer. The beer. It's beautiful. I was sort of okay with the song until I love you. It's this is after his monologue where he tours the office. Last couple of days is what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We've pretty much been camped out, spend every day in my office, hanging around our ninth floor offices here in Rockefeller Center. And uh, I thought it'd be cool to show people just kind of what my life has been like during the strike. So the other day I grabbed a camera so I could show you what my life has been like during the strike. Dude, it's trash, okay? The irony is, you know what happens when, uh, when they lose writers? It turns into streaming. It turns into YouTube. Think about that. Strike, and this is just, just me telling you what's going on. Take a look. Biggest question I've been getting uh, lately is, uh, Conan, what do you do during a writer's strike? What do you actually do with your time? Uh, well, we're about two months into this strike, and this is pretty much it. I spend a lot of time here in my office. This is my office. I sit here. Uh, not a lot going on. Uh, um, pretty much look for things to do, try and keep busy, try and keep the mind active. Uh, I go through a Christmas card, started showing up a few weeks ago. So I've been going through all my Christmas cards. I got a ton of them here. Um, some of them are from pretty cool people. Cheap Trick right there sent me their Christmas card. Uh, it's incidentally a photo. I think it was taken in 1979. Two of those guys are dead now, but uh, it's nice that they sent it out. Pee Wee Herman sent me his Christmas card. Very nice. And uh, let's see, one of these cards is from Hugh Hefner. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it's this one, I'm sure. Um, either way, it's uh, holiday spirit. A lot of time to kill. Someone uh, got me this book, Sudoku. Gave it to me. Um, Conan timing how long he's been his wedding ring for writerless content. I think that was in Blazing Saddles. All right, here we go. Uh, Susie, are you ready to time this? We're going for 41 seconds. If we do it, this will be television history. Uh, Susie, you ready to go? I'm ready. Okay, you excited, Susie? Yes, good you luck. <laughs> Not a genuine bone in her body. <laughs> we're gonna try and get a good spin. If I don't, I'll start all over again. Band, I hope you're ready. Here we go. And that's a good spin. That's a good spin. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's a reason. Like streamer content is streamer content for a reason you know what i mean like we do this kind of shit we do this kind of shit because we're not a part of a multi-billion dollar operation okay that's why we do this kind of shit you understand like this is something you see on this stream this is something you see on the h3 h3 podcast like <laughs> Susie Santamora, what was the time on that spin? That looked like a good spin to me. 36 seconds. <laughs> 36? I thought I had it. Pender, what was that sound you made when I lost? <laughs> it's hard enough with Outriders to lose a ring spin, but then to have a horse laugh at me. <laughs> Ultimate indignity. Yeah. Trust me, there's time to do it again. I only see people using late night TV as an example. What else will be affected? Well, calling the HD podcast, that is rude. I'm literally a Twitch streamer. You don't want your TV. You don't want your, uh, you don't want your TV to turn into your streaming shit. Okay. It's doo-doo caca.